As Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump prepare to face off in the first presidential debates, the race for the White House is actually in a dead heat. A new Washington Post ABC News poll shows in a two way matchup, both presidential candidates are deadlocked. 46% support among registered voters. So, with both candidates tied in the polls, just how much is riding on these debates? Susan Page joins me now. Susan, what are your thoughts going into the debate? Do you think that the stakes are just the highest that they've ever been at this point? You know, it's hard to imagine another debate that had stakes quite as high as this one because this race is suddenly so close. Uh, a margin of error race, both nationally and in some key states, including in your new CBS Battleground State poll of Colorado. Hillary Clinton just up just one in that swing state. So, yes, I think this debate looms as a critical moment, not the last moment. There'll be two more presidential debates, another vice presidential debate, as you well know. But clearly a very important moment in this campaign. We know that the Clinton camp has been preparing for two different types of Donald Trumps to show up, one more measured and one kind of not as measured. What do you think that they, Hillary Clinton needs to keep in mind as she gears up for tomorrow night? You know, I think one thing about a 90-minute debate is that it's hard to be somebody you are not for 90 whole minutes. Maybe you could do that for 60 seconds or in a 10-minute interview. So I think there are some key qualities about both of these candidates that, is like, that are likely to come through for viewers in this 90-minute debate, even if, they're, even if they strategize and even if they, even if they have some prepared one-liners or some strategies. One of the great things about having these debates and having them for an extended period of time is that there's a lot of time to explore different issues and there's a lot of time to get a sense of who they really are. Mm. Who is the public, Susan, that each side is going after on Monday night that they're hoping to win over? We know that people feel passionately about one candidate or the other, but who are the, the audience that, who is the audience that they want to go after? You know, I think each of these candidates has two audiences in mind. One is that very small number of swing voters, people who actually have not made up their minds yet. Maybe that's six or seven percent of the electorate. Many of those people don't like either of these candidates. So that is one key group. But there's another key group that's larger, and that is their own supporters. Because, you know, it doesn't matter if somebody supports you if they don't bother to go vote. And one of the things that both candidates want to do, and particularly Hillary Clinton, is gin up her supporters so that they bother to go to the polls. And that's especially true for, for for young people, for minorities, for the coalition that elected Barack Obama and re-elected him, those voters are a little less enthusiastic than they were when Obama was running. She wants to get them a little more excited about her candidacy. How big of a concern is that, Susan, if those people don't go out to get out the vote? How much could that cost her the election? Oh, yeah, absolutely. If your voters don't show up, it doesn't matter that they supported you. But I was talking the other day to Donna Brazil, the Democratic interim chairman, and she said that she was not as concerned as some Democrats are about this. She said, if you throw a party, the Republicans will show up at 6 p.m. and the Democrats will start coming in about 10 p.m. She says they're just a group of people that get excited a little later. And she said that's what she expects to happen this time. But it is true. Donald Trump supporters at the moment more excited about this election than Hillary Clinton supporters. All right. Susan Page, Washington bureau chief for USA Today. Thanks for joining us, Susan. Hey, thank you.